Davy Hume is one of the largest wastewater treatment works in the northwest and currently serves around 1.2 million people. It treats around 8,000 litres of water every second and that noise you can hear is currently the water around being going through the stream process and being treated at the plant. The £140 million upgrade of the Davy Hume site includes a variety of works across the whole area. One of them is the new process stream, which is where we're standing right now, which includes six primary settlement tanks, ten aeration lanes and ten final settlement tanks. We're also building a new inlet works and refurbishing the existing odour control system. Now the reason we're doing all these works is that the government have given new guidelines to the quality of the water that comes out of the wastewater treatment plants, which is a reduction in ammonia. This water goes back into the Manchester Ship Canal, so we need to make sure it's good quality as it's going into the local environment. Another reason for the upgrade is Davy Hume is an old plant. They've had new additions throughout, but some of the existing infrastructure is ageing and needs to be upgraded. And finally, Davy Hume needs to future-proof itself. Manchester has one of the fastest growing populations in the UK at the moment. And to handle all this capacity that needed from this new population, Dave Hume needs to upgrade and improve. There has been challenges for civil engineers, both as designers and as contractors as well. BIM was utilised heavily on this project. And BIM takes the use of computer modelling and computer design to be able to build a model in 3D virtually before we actually build it on site. For this structure we're standing on now, the ground underneath it is extremely poor. So engineers needed to find out a way that they could design extra foundations just to support the structure to stop it settling and stop it sinking. Over 50% of the components were manufactured off-site in a factory and then delivered each day to site to be dropped in by the cranes. Another challenge we faced was that Davy Hume needed to operate 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and we couldn't shut off the plant. One of the sections I worked in as a civil engineer was the inlet works. Now this is where the raw sewage comes into the plant and then is distributed through the whole of the wastewater treatment plant. Now these flows need to be kept open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. We could only turn off one of the two culverts to keep Davy Hume running. So we'd construct our inlet works based on the culvert that was turned off, and switch the flows around so they flowed through our new inlet works, and then turn off the other culvert so we could work on that, so eventually we could get all the water coming through our new inlet works. So that upgrade to Davy Hume gives a lot of benefits to the local residents and to the local environment. The increased water quality with the reduction in ammonia is better for the fish in the local environment and just better for water quality overall. Also, the, the upgrade of the odour treatment plant means that the smells are more contained within the site limits so the residents aren't impacted as much from the odours from the wastewater treatment plant. Davy Hume is a carbon neutral plant. Through some of the processes here at Davy Hume, Methane is burnt off to create energy and there's so much energy being produced that it can supply the entire plant and have enough to give back to the local grid as well. So one of the reasons I became a civil engineer is because I wanted to work on some of the most exciting projects in the UK and in the world. And to start my career working at Davy Hume, a £140 million upgrade of the existing plant is a huge honour to work here. I also enjoy problem solving as part of my career and every day working as a civil engineer you get new and exciting problems to solve and no two days are the same. If it's a challenge you want then I highly recommend civil engineering whether being as a designer or as a contractor like me building projects out here on site.